don't have a friend. A, a friend. There's a joke that is very funny, very popular right now in university. And I believe you guys know it very well. Just like the title said, Hey, wake up! You don't have friends or girlfriends, right? Or you can even tease about, you can, tease, you can use this to tease your friend. Like, hey John, I saw Mary just talk to you. And Mary is the hottest girl in, the, in my class. I mean, you should be grateful about this because you are marginal. And you should be very grateful about this, right? You can even tease about yourself. I'm marginal, so I don't have friends, and uh, I don't even know any girls in my class. I don't even know when they were at the party. So what is marginal, first thing first? Well, you guys know the best. In Chinese, marginal, marginal we call gen yuan yuan, right? <laughs> gen yuan yuan. So it means that people who deliberately isolate themselves from others and stay alone for a long time. So the central idea of this kind of joke is to tease others that he or she is a marginal. And this joke is no doubt very funny, very sarcastic. But however, the joke can cause bigger effect than you might think. When I was in junior high school, no one wants to be a marginal. Everyone wants to be in the middle of the spotlight. So the act of socializing, making friends, is highly encouraged within my friends and all my classmates. However, when I entered senior high school, especially university, everyone wants to be a marginal, and I don't get it. I have a friend. He's, he has a girlfriend. He's definitely a party king, but he still called himself a marginal. Even when I hang out with all my friends, and we still call ourselves a marginal group. I mean, that doesn't make sense at all, because if, if you think about this word, marginal, it can mean corner, right? And you can just imagine all the people go to the corner and just stay in the corner and uh, have fun here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's strange. It's a very strange phenomenon. But when we are making this kind of joke, what we don't know is that this kind of joke can cause negative and psychological effect towards others, even towards yourself. I used to be a person with strong feeling of loneliness. And I read a lot of psychological articles to solve my problem. Good, good news is my problem was solved. But bad news is I found that the, this kind of joke is actually a virus of loneliness. A virus of loneliness. How fatal is loneliness, by the way? For you guys all don't know. Study shows that feeling of loneliness can cause very negative psychological effect mm, to our body and our mind. Physically, it will damage our circulatory system and endocrine and immune system. Mentally, it will decrease our decision making, judgment, and mindfulness. It even increased the possibility of getting Alzheimer when we are old. So you might ask, so what? What have this syndrome of loneliness to do with the joke? The joke itself is a means to spread the feeling of loneliness to others. Also study shows that if a person was kept telling that he's a marginal, he don't have friends, etc., his attitude will be changed to a more negative way. And if a person, if a positive person, stay with a negative person for a while, it is not the negative person will be changed. It is the positive person's attitude will be changed or influenced by the negative person. Also, even when you are joking about yourself. I'm marginal, I'm, I don't have friends, blah, blah, blah. You are increasing the feeling of loneliness within your mind. You just don't know it. So what, kind of, what these jokes are really doing is to making everyone become the real marginal, unconsciously 
and gradually. So what? I mean, so what should we do if it is very severe, right? So what should we do? Well, first thing first, stop this kind of joke. There are other things can also be very funny and very sarcastic about. Not for this joke in particular. Also, stay in a real connection with your friends. If you keep in touch with your friends, what you are actually doing is to decrease, even suppress, the feeling of loneliness between you and your friend. Last but not least, but most importantly, show more love and care to your friend. When your friend feels bored, feels lonely, then ask them out for a movie or go shopping. And when they feel very down, when they very feel very negative, then buy them a beer and be the best audience. So all in all, you don't want to hurt your friends, right? You don't want to just keep telling them, oh, imagine no blah, 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 loser, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, make them feel bad, make them perform badly, depressed, or even get Alzheimer's when they are old. So instead of telling them, hey, wake up, you don't have friends, why don't you tell them, hey, I'm your friend, and if you need me, I'll always be there. Toastmaster leave me. <laughs>